about John 20 verse 13. And, and many others. Open up. Open up. Mother Simon, open up. Uh, and many other signs truly did Jesus in the presence of his disciples which are not written in this book so what are the signs uh, that Jesus do that is not written in the Bible um, we could say it's a, the same supernatural signs when Christ was on earth he can heal the sick. He can raise the dead. The ultimate sign, when he resurrected the Old Testament saints, some of them could be seen. If some of them could be seen, that's the ultimate sign. Remember, he raised up Lazarus. But this is different. When he raised up Lazarus, Lazarus, when he got resurrected, he was still in his mortal body. When Christ rose from the dead, He resurrected the others with glorified bodies. That is written in the Bible. You're asking... What are the other signs that are not written in the Bible? I, already, I, I told you, those that are not written are the same, some of them are the same signs they already did before. And the additional sign which is not as explicitly written. When he resurrects the dead in glorified bodies, the sign is not just a resurrection. The sign is some are being seen. Imagine you seeing the dead. It's not just Jesus Christ that they're seeing that could uh, pass through walls. Even other saints are passing through walls. So that is that's an astounding sign. That the resurrection is real. Something they could give up their life for in the arenas of Rome, the persecution of the Jews. Something they could give their lives for. So that that's a super sign. By the way, Brother Vito, what did Brother Branham mean when he said super sign? He has a message like super sign, right? Yes. Maybe you can open up your fire tablet right now. What did he mean? I have an idea. I've tried it before. But I'd like to get your opinion, Carlito. What did he mean by super sign? Use your tablet right now. Don't waste it up. Some of you do have it, right? Super sign, type it out. I forgot. I can use it. No, 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 that's not the super sign. You read this message, super sign? Yes. So what the sign mean? is uh, the time of uh, things that uh, like super highway. Supermarket, super charge, <laughs> super charge, 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 super when they saw the resurrected Old Testament saints, that, that was super. Amen. That's a super sign. Super man. Because all the signs of resurrecting Lazarus, he will also still die. Healing <coughs> the sick, they will still get sick. <laughs> they will still die. That's temporary healing. Amen. That's so good. Giving loaves of bread, they will still go hungry. That's not the ultimate sign. But they were looking for that kind of sign. The ultimate kind of sign is a permanent one. So, let's go today. The message of Brother Brother. Brother Jotela? The, the super sign. Could, could you come here so it can be recorded? The super sign. The super sign. The super sign. The super sign. A sh sign. Shall never end. When we think of it, the, an eternal sign. The super sh sign of all signs. God becoming one of us. Amen. That is the super sign of us. 
Okay. Aside from the answer of Brother George, Brother Magellan's answer is about the Godhead. God above us, God in us. God in us and God in us. And God in Christ, Christ in the church. The church in the world, the church will become a theophany. The church becomes a super church. That's a super sign. Not just the church becoming a super church. It's also, you know how the church becomes a super church already, okay? While we are still in the flesh. You already know, it's just that everyone's a negative church. Now, aside from the church, super signs all around us. Prophecies taking place, being fulfilled today. Everything is accelerating. Everything is accelerating. It's a super highway. It's a super... <laughs> Okay, what are you saying, Brother? I know. I, Brother Magellan says that super sign never ends. Your voice never ends. Slow. Super sign is never ends. Yes, because God, we becoming God. This is the the the. Let me tell you something. The quotation. Did you know? Do you know how God speaks to you? He does not speak to you audibly. I'll give you a super sign. It is like you becoming Jesus Christ. You becoming Jesus Christ is you will see things as God sees it. You have the same discerning that God has. You will not be blind if you see they need some intervention. They need some adoption. You will have discernment to give counsel, to give instructions. You will have discernment to see what is going to happen if that will be left to itself. This is the actual code. Okay, another code. Let, let me finish. So, super highway, supermarket, super sign. Here. Uh, we becoming God. But they just super just sign. The right. permanent one. And but never ending sign. That. Because the, per the permanency of our theophany. When the New Jerusalem church becomes, the church becoming a New Jerusalem, it becomes a permanent theophany for all mankind. The quotation 1961 super sign. But the but where in the super sign super super sales super 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 everything super cars super jet oh super jets super speed everything's a super. Super race. Oh, everyone wants to be a super race. Hitler just told the Germans that they they were super people. Found out they wasn't super, super, super everything. So let me continue what George said. Another super sign in Daniel 12, 4. The knowledge in the world will increase. Now, that's super. Acceleration. That's why... I, I said, academically, verse 25, academically, he should be advancing. Simon should be advancing. Amen. Do not be lazy. Uh, he should be advancing. Do not be so from, from the homeschool unless you are exceeding them. <laughs> so, everything in this world is accelerating. Wickedness is accelerating. Knowledge in the world is accelerating. The revelation of God is accelerating. Amen. It's outpouring. And the training in the church, our time is very short. The kids today are accelerated. They're, just let them go to school. They will so be so mature. They will no longer be innocent. They'll know lots of things that you do not intend them to know yet. So, where should we place ourselves in these super accelerated times and times? We should put ourselves in the grace of God, in what God intends us to be, the spiritual super race. That super race not putting down others. The super race, the super church, the bride of Christ, which He will perfect, that will be an oddball, a peculiar people in this world. Peculiar because you are unlike others, other parents. You don't spoil them. You, you don't uh, leave them by their own. You don't compromise to them. 
Eventually, then they grow up. It's a, it's a good family. It's a good picture. It's a good church. But we're talking about a super church, a super sign. It's a different kind of church. It's no longer the traditional church when we rely only on one minister. Everyone ministers. Everyone ministers. Everyone grows and enjoys the revelation of the Word of God. There's an acceleration of knowledge in the world. There's an acceleration of revelation in the saving knowledge of Jesus Christ. There's an acceleration not just in revelation, but in the ministry. How we could accelerate our children spiritually. Not too bad. We're so big agents. Do not take a to your vacation too long. Okay, any more question? I have no question. Okay, how many minutes did I take up for this first time? Uh, no. Four minutes. Eleven. Eleven only? Yeah. <laughs> I'd like to add a little, to so take it twenty minutes. Um, oh my. Uh, I have a question. Uh, about the, uh, being a prophet. Yes. During the time when Moses was in uh, being a prophet used by God. I'd like to say something before we continue. Another super sign. The prophet is what they consider super sign also. Have you read that? Yes. yes. But did you know from the time of Abraham until today, the super sign is it's not only for Abraham, the whole church becomes the mouthpiece of God. Revelation 10 11. Everyone becomes a prophet. Everyone should be mature. Okay? This kind of prophethood I'm talking about is biblical prophethood, not a supernatural seal. It's different. Okay? During, during that time that Moses was used by God, did God talk to any person or he, did he use a separate per, uh, prophet to reveal also his word? In other parts of the globe, God still dealt with his people. Let's go to Israel where Moses was there. God dealt with other people in the camp, but they are not known. Yeah. Moses was known. So those people would submit to God's move in Moses. And later when Moses was out of the picture, God would use them. But but they but did some of them were Caleb and Joshua. They did not uh Two in the, in their days, two prophets in the in their days. Again, it's like this. They're not known. Do you know the star so, up above in Bethlehem and the star down below? I understand below? that. I understand. So the star down below is not famous. It's not known. So they are they used they're by God? Heroes. Are they used by God? They were those that were used by God in the camp. During the, the camp. during Moses was used. Let me give you an example. Let me give you major an example. Major prophet. In the time of Moses, he could not uh, facilitate judging everyone. So Jethro advised him. So Jethro was used by God. Delegate many judges in all of Israel. They are not known in name, all of them. But they uh, did mean the dirty work. Did you know that? Perfect. They did the itty bitty. <laughs> Uh, yeah, yeah. job of judging individual concerns but but they uh, but, but uh, are they not used by God or are they I already said they were being used by God but they, but they are not called man of God or prophet of God it's not that they are not even mentioned by name in the Bible so just because you are not supernaturally called upon you were just appointed by men by okay. Moses or otherwise yes. does that mean God could not use you mightily right. I said unsung hero what does that mean unsung hero. you are not, not famous. known you're not famous but God used you the same way God used the star messenger God used so the that, star prophet so it means the famous prophet same there is a famous prophet and there's the Unknown prophet. Did you know that in the Bible there are, there are prophet Agabus. unknown prophets? The apo during the apostle time, there there is prophet Agabus. Uh, 
uh, during the time of the apostle, apostle Paul. Yes. So the same as Moses. Moses is the only prophet, according to other or uh, our thinking, the only prophet of God during the her ta- the his main time. Of, of those who are <laughs> so those who who reject uh, Moses. So there are those will, who only want to stop at Moses' revelation. There so, those so what what it does mean what, what it is mean that when the Lord said to uh, Aaron and Miriam but my servant is not so not so what in, in numbers 12 yes yes but my servant is not so what? it's not so on the <laughs> upper para- paragraph or the verse the Lord said if there be prophet on on you, I will uh, tell to him in a dream something like that. He will that. notify the first prophet. Yeah, no, no. He will reveal himself in a dream, but up to those who claim to be other prophets. The Lord said to me, oh. and, and that's your question. Uh, why did God say he should supernaturally? No, no. Why did God say? Why did God said my servant Moses is not so? A good question. Uh, so, he, so God Moses is, is not a prophet Moses of is not vision through and dreams. dreams and visions. It's not through dreams and so he's visions, not one of them. One of that that prophet. It doesn't have to be. It, it shows there's no one way of being a prophet. Example, Periol and Camillo and Didipo, they are supernaturally appointed by God. Okay? But literally, Bar Francis, God used Moses supernaturally. No, that's not the point. The point is, the point of your question is being appointed as a prophet. That yeah. does it have to be supernatural? Okay. According to the Lord. Uh, no, you, you, that's what you're saying because you're quoting from a scripture. But that those that in the Old Testament will pass away. In the New Testament, prophethood. This is the door is open unto us for us. Numbers 12, 7. My servant the Moses. The in the Old New Testament today is not necessarily supernatural. Supernatural prophets are not, just, not a thing of the past, are a uh, thing based in the past. Today, you can still have supernatural manifestation. But that is not your, like, your calling card. That's not what makes you uh, an anti-prophet. So, but, so Moses is well, not... If you rely on that, similar with Agabus, similar with Barbanams, the denominations, they are all prophets, but they are supernatural prophets. So, uh, that, that the prophet that God will reveal his secrets upon is by revelation. So Moses is not supernatural prophet, according to... This here is a verse. I guess both. Yes, supernatural and natural. Dalor of the generation. So your your statement Your statement is not acceptable to those who believe in the prophet. If you say that all believers are the prophets because uh, in one age, there is only one major prophet, and not at all. Uh, some will believe. Some end time believers will believe. But those who believe all Brother Branham's statements, they will say, you must not contradict his statement. So not all will say, we cannot be prophets. Not all. Some will say, yes, we can, because they know Revelation 10 and 11. Some of them know it, okay? But they will say, you must not say anything against the statement of the prophet. So that's, so that's another uh, uh, substantiating way to do it. How about Brother Branham? He is a major prophet in his time. Did God use another prophet during his time that he used? Not on the same level as he does. But there the, the, are the, prophets. There are many Pentecostal prophets. There is supernatural. 
But that kind of profit book will pass. You get the picture? Am I still centered? Am I still centered? That kind of profit book will pass into a different kind of profit book. Imagine a simple faith of being the in this world. You can receive the gift of the prophet being revealed by God of his secrets in the scriptures, the mysteries of the scriptures. People are looking up to the supernatural manifestation, but that is not where God is putting his secrets. His secret is back to the word. And how it, the spoken word is not only in Brother Brandon's mouth. The spoken word is in the mouth of every believer who reveals the mysteries of the word. So let me answer what I told you. They believe everyone can be a prophet, but you must not go against the prophet. So some will not agree because they are somewhat immature. But some are a little bit mature. They can agree everyone can be a prophet. But to those who say that you must not contradict the prophet, you must understand what are we following? What did we receive from the prophet? We received from the prophet the Berean spirit, the Berean instruction. Yeah. Not the word Berean, huh? the instruction how to be, how to be what the Bereans did in Acts 17. That instruction itself will validate you, will anoint you will confirm, confirm, confirm you, will vindicate you, your ministry, your relationship to Christ. And that's your super sign. Of course, some would not understand, but it goes with the attitude. I have some discussion in Facebook, and he said, you're talking about attitude, yes. But the first thing is, unknown, you have to uh, unknown prophets in, in the scriptures tells about the the secret. When you see the secret, it's not unpopular or unknown to the around to the people or around you the people. Know. Yes. God but will you, use but, those things that are not famous. Yes. But God give in a secret revelation. To the prophet, but this prophet is a non prophet. I tell you something. You know who you are not, right? He's famous. But did you know that he could not go deep? He has to repeat again and again the basic that conference. Okay. <laughs> you just train our young people. You're, you're stuck in sharing the same things again, again over and over again. But we but, all want to progress in our subjects. So we must train the next generation of believers, the young people. To preach the basic things. Yeah. But the people today, but the people today is, uh, is, is looking about the super sign. That the super sign, that the first pole and the second pole, that it is the sign of that, that true prophet. But this unknown prophet is only revealing the secret is revealing of God. Hello, I'm going to close it.